Hey guys, this is Matt Core from controlpaint.com, and today let's paint an electric kettle. Now in the past video, we finished with these nice clean lines, and the task upon us is how do we get this ready to paint? Now one way would just be to go straight into the method that I showed you with painting the spatula. So you could go right from this line drawing, follow the same steps from the spatula, and you'd end up with a painting. But another nice way to paint starts by defining the outside silhouette. And I'm gonna do that with the pen tool. So I'm using the pen tool set to the path setting, and then I'm just gonna zoom in and trace my shape. And here I'm speeding up the footage because as we've seen in the past, this is slow and boring, but it is the best way to get the control that you need. So get used to using the pen tool because it's very, very useful. So I convert that path into a selection, which I then set as a mask on a layer group. So now everything I paint inside of here will stay inside the lines. But instead of painting, what if I were to just make vector shapes? This is sort of like when we made the tire. Vector shapes are a nice way to block in color with a clean edge. So here I'm gonna use the pen tool again, but this time I will change it to shape. I don't want a stroke and I do want to fill. and the particular color can be changed later. But now I'll just go through and I'll define the shapes in my image. So here I've got a handle. Once again, I will speed up the footage, but the same idea is true. You just trace your way around the shape, following those nice clean lines that you made. And then once you've closed it, you can double click on the shape and change its color to match your image. It's also nice that these are vector shapes so you can edit them as much as you need till everything is looking nice. And oftentimes if I have similar small shapes like these four black shapes, I will simply merge them all together to be a single shape. And that just helps me keep my document organized. So once I've got all my shapes blocked in, I can just simply rasterize them, rasterize layers. I can name them if I want, and then I can just lock transparent pixels and begin to paint in actual values. And of course, I can de-emphasize my line work by lowering the opacity or potentially changing the layer's color. But from this point forward, it's really no different from the other painting examples I've given you. Really the primary difference in this process was instead of blocking in my flat colors with the brush tool, here I was blocking in my flat colors with the pen tool. Neither way is correct. This one happened to make sense because it was a pretty mechanical object and the edges are pretty precise. But the rest of the painting is exactly the same as it always is. But to paint along with this, you're gonna to need to understand some basic techniques. We kept all of our painting inside of the lines by creating a selection first and then using that selection to create a mask on a layer group. And then we blocked in our flat colors using the pen tool, creating vector shapes. And those shapes are nice because we could modify them. So if either of these techniques are unfamiliar to you, make sure to follow the links at the bottom of the post and you can learn all about them. Thanks for coming to the site, guys.